What is up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got an affordable squad builder around the 84 rated purple squad builder challenge, Raheem Sterling. Now I can't stress enough how amazing this card is. He really is incredible. I've played a couple of games with him already and there's no player that can actually keep up with him. There's no player that can push him really off the ball because he has so much pace. He just like wriggles around them. It's, it's actually mad. So yeah, by all means, if you guys have the coins, if you have like the players in your club to go ahead and finish the squad builder challenge to get Sterling, do it. You will not be disappointed. Honestly, he's incredible. Um, and if I'm honest, it's probably the easiest squad builder challenge to date. Um, obviously, apart from like the let's get started ones. And out of the ones where you get like a new player on the game, Sterling, this is by far the easiest. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the rest of the team. Um, actually, before, before that, I would just like to say thank you because the support on my channel recently has actually been incredible. Um, it's been amazing and I can't thank you guys enough for it. So... If you guys are new around here, by all means, keep subscribing. I've got an informed Pogba 7-minute score builder going up tomorrow. Um, I've got loads of really, really cool content, so I'm sure you guys will not be disappointed. And today is double upload day as well, so I've got another video out later for you guys. Um, yeah, honestly, it's just it's been a bit overwhelming, actually, the past few days. It's been really, really, really positive on the channel. So thank you all so much. It's all down to you guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this squad builder without blabbering on too much. So I've created a no link wasted hybrid actually, an affordable no link wasted hybrid. There's a couple of informs in here, but if you took them out, it'd be like 20, 25k team, and then you'd obviously have to pay for the coins to finish up um, Sterling in the squad builder challenge. So it might end up costing you like, I don't know, 75k this team, because Sterling cost me about 50k to get. Um, but yeah, and Yema, we have got him in the goalkeeper position. He's actually a really, really good goalkeeper. Obviously, his main trait is his reflexes, 90. That is a very, very high stat for a goalkeeper in that department. Um, and yeah, honestly, he hasn't let me down really so far. So he's a player which I would highly recommend if you are after a solid goalkeeper in the league earned. So the two centre-backs then, we have got Informing Kulu and then we've also got Marquinhos. Now, out of these two, I've got to say Marquinhos is my favourite by far. He honestly is so good, like, I'm, I'm struggling to think of another centre-back apart from Bobby Moore that I've used that's actually better than him. Um, I really can't think of one. Maybe Manolas, maybe Rudiger is probably on par, but honestly, Marquinhos, he's, he's incredible. He's really, really good, um, and you will not be let down by him. And Kulu is great in the box for kind of corners and stuff. He can get his head on it. Uh, he makes some really interesting runs as well. If you do like the near post corner trick and, and you kind of get Nkulu to run almost from like the penalty spot to the near post, he's very effective in that department. Hopefully I can show you in the game. But yeah, really, really good centre-back pair in there. Um, I would highly recommend it. So right back then, we have got a Barclays Premier League player and it is going to be Neom. He doesn't actually have as much pace this year, but he still does have a very nice physical stat in 84 He's just a very solid right back, isn't he, to be honest? Um, and he's a player which I'd, I'd happily use time and time again in my squads because he's just that number, like, literally Mr. Reliable in that fullback position. Um, so, yeah, go pick him up if you guys want to be a part of this team. So, left back then, we have got the man, Gaia. This guy is just always sick on FIFA. He was in FIFA 16. Um, and yeah, he, once again, he's just incredible in FIFA 17. So, 88 pace, you don't really have to say anything more. That, that's literally all he, need, all he needs. And his, uh, his, the rest of his stats are actually really good as well. The passing, dribbling and defending, all solid mid-70s um, to high 70s. So, he's a player that's always going to be in my club and always going to be featuring in some of my squad builders. So, um, yeah, honestly, try him out if you haven't already. He is one of the best fullbacks on the game that I've used so far. So let's move into the first centre mid then. We have got in a an Italian uh, and it is a man that I've been wanting to use for so long now. Um, it is going to be Marco Verratti. There we go. Not expensive at all. He's about 6,000 coins uh, and you, you get your money's worth, honestly. The only downfall is his 68 pace. Would have maybe liked it to be 75, but in all honesty, it doesn't make that much of a difference. I don't lose sleep at night over it. Um, so in all honesty, yeah, he's, he's a great player. Um, and I would highly recommend picking him up. So, the left centre mid then, we will go for the Spanish lad, Koke. Now, this guy 
is incredible. By the way, if you wanted to switch it up and you don't like Coke and Gaia, you can go ahead and get Banat and also Tiago. It's up to you. It depends how many coins you have. Uh, but for me, Coke is actually a really, really good centre mid anyway. He's always just kind of like in the right positions. He's got a great pass on him. Very solid. A great shot as well. Uh, and he's got a nice rating as well. So 71 pace, 75 shooting. 70, uh, sorry, 85 passing, 82 dribbling, and 74 physical, just a perfect player in that role. And then in this right hand side, in the centre mid spot, we have got Delhi Ali. I was thinking of so many players. I was kind of looking through the book, looking through my club, thinking, okay, who should I put in here? Henderson. I've actually used Henderson, he's incredible, by the way. But I wanted to use a player that I hadn't used before. Um, and yeah, Delhi Ali, Delhi Ali was the man for this position. So. Very, very happy with him. Uh, he's a great player going forward and defensively. Uh, so, yeah, I'd highly recommend picking up. And you're probably thinking, oh, Jack, this, this midfield isn't that defensive. Um, but remember, you do have Marco Verratti in there. He does kind of seem like, on his card, a bit of like a, an attacking playmaker kind of thing. Um, or just like a, a complete playmaker and not really someone that's going to defend that much. But he does have decent defending stats. And I promise you, he does put a good shift in as well. So we're going to put in the left winger now and we have got a man that has moved to the league earn this year. Sorry, I'm going to say the league one because I've probably pissed loads of people off by saying that. Um, it's just habit, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, so we have got, um, yeah, he, like literally he is incredible, honestly. Spanish left winger, 86 pace, 75 shooting, 72 passing, 84 dribbling. Come from Real Madrid, of course, from one huge club to another huge club. And um, yeah, he does not let you down. His pay, he feels like he's got more pace than 86, honestly, he really does. So um, if you're after a solid left winger for not that many coins, he is your man. So the final player in the team, you've probably all guessed it, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, it is going to be the new in-form Mario Balotelli. I, I felt like it would be a bit unfair not to give him a shot in this team. I know his work rates don't do him any favours on this game, but... I have set his player player tactics to uh, running in behind and also the, the lowest defensive support and also what else did I do? Let me see. Let me see. Player instructions. Okay, so yeah, get in behind, stay central. I don't want him coming out wide. Normal interceptions and then basic, basic defensive support, which is just two, the, the two kind of basic ones um, by default. But yeah, I wanted him to stay central. And also get in behind, try and make them runs. That would be perfect for me, especially when we've got Sterling and stuff. Um, and just like the whole attack would work brilliantly in that way. So, yeah, that is the team. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's go try this out. If you don't want to put Bar Balotelli in that striker spot, go ahead and flip and put like Cavani in there. I've used him before. He's incredible. And he's like 3 or 4K. Uh, maybe not even that. So, yeah, highly recommend him. Let's go ahead and dive into a game and check out this team. Here we go then, let's go ahead and check out our opponent. Okay, so he has got a full Serie A side. Um, I believe that's Adair and also, what's his name? Jovetic up top, Kondreva, Lichtensteiner, Koulibaly. It's, it's, it's actually a really solid team, isn't it? Um, but I'm, I'm feeling confident with my team. I'm feeling confident. It's going to be hard for Balotelli to, to outstrength Koulibaly. I'm not going to lie. That's going to, that's going to be a battle. That is going to be... A very, very, very tough battle in that in that um, attacking part. But, yeah, I mean, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Go on, Balotelli. Go on, lads. Let's let's start brightly. Come on. Go on. Play it back. Go. Go. Oh, I thought we was actually going to be able to get through there. But, go. Make the runs in behind. Balotelli's done it. He has. He's actually done what I've wanted him to do. We're not going to... Oh, my God. We should have scored that. At least he's making them runs. In the few games that I played with him, without putting it on, he wasn't really making them runs. So I'm happy with that. <gasps> Get in the back of the net. How has he missed that? Go on. Oh, we have scored. Have a look at that. I don't even know who it was. I think it was Koke. Yeah. What a finish, though. We should we should have actually been up 1-0 up with Flippin Balotelli in the first few minutes. But yeah, a lovely goal, to be fair. Um, that has not taken that lot. Oh, okay. It's actually a Koulibaly own goal. I think that's a little bit harsh. Um, on Koke there, but we'll take it. Right, okay, come on. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Here we are, here we are. Oh, Heze, look at that pace then. Look at that pace. Get in the box, Balotelli. That was just poor for me, I do apologise. Go on, oh, Sterling. Look at him, look at him, look at this pace. Go on, get there. Oh, Balotelli, you need to be on the penalty, penalty spot, mate. 
Go on. Finish that. Oh my god, he smashed the bar. Oh my god, Balotelli, please. That has to go in, mate. That would have been such a good goal. And I wasn't saying that like he should score that like easily. I'm, I'm saying like, oh, I wish that was actually going in. Go on. Finish that. Oh my god, he smashed the bar again. Flipping hell, man. When is it going to go in? When is it going to go in? We're going to score a long shot, though, with Balotelli. I hope you guys are looking at this because he is actually a really, really, really solid striker. Um, because he's a lone striker, you need someone in there that's going to be quite strong. And I've made that mistake in the past by just putting like a kind of weak striker up there. But he's a player that can kind of do anything, run in behind. Um, he can, yeah, he can run in behind. He can flip. He is actually coming quite deep though. That that is one little worry. But I suppose when when we're not counter attacking and we're on just a normal attack, he is uh, he is in the right position. Here we go. Look, this is Sterling's pace. Right, we should actually just go up and get away from him now. Look at that. That's what I mean. That is what I mean. Any other player? Go on. Go on. Oh my god, that was so poor. That shot. What is going on? Ah, okay, it's going to be a goal, surely. Yeah, okay. Fair play. That was actually a nice play from him. I think Sampan Sampanyara scored. Go! That's the ball. That's the ball. No! Go on, Koke, for a second! Love that. Yes, there we go. That's the run. That's the run. Oh, my God. He's almost scored, Balotelli. Right, he's done, mate. Right, okay. That, there we go. That's the half-time whistle. Let's check the half-time stats, then. So I've had seven shots, three on target, 52% possession, three shots, two on target, but I did hit the bloody bar twice. Um, so, yeah, it is disappointing. It is disappointing. I'm going to try and actually score with Balotelli another little long shot. I'm not going to try too many, though, because I don't want to waste my time doing it. Oh, look at the ball. Look at that ball. Balotelli. Why can we not flipping score? So annoying. Go on, go to Balotelli. Oh, it's not going to Balotelli. It has gone to Heze, though, and we have scored the corner. 52 minutes in, and we are back in front, ladies and gentlemen. That's all from Balotelli's work, though. Go on. He's done well there. Near post. Oh, my God. He's got a block in again. Come on, Balo. Let's get the near post in. Let's get the near post in. Another header, maybe. Oh, we've scored another header. This time it's Deli Ali. What a flipping change in tune for this game. What a header as well. Mate, this guy cannot defend headers. No, keeps. I haven't... For God's sake. I was in two minds whether to change my... Um... Whether to bring my keeper out or to switch player and try and stop that run. And I just did both at the same time and it didn't really work. I was too slow. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. It's actually 3-3. Three, three. Oh, he's... He's brought on a Bama Yang. Are you kidding me? I actually, I don't know how we're losing. I, I, I honestly, I just do not know how. This is so, so ridiculous. Right, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go ahead and like be dishonest with you guys and go ahead and record another game and then go ahead and win it and make up this team is like. Unbelievable in that sense. I still really, really, really like this team. Don't get me wrong at all. I don't know how and I don't know why, but this game literally just flipped on its head. Um, I still stand by saying this team is very, very good indeed. You can have a sick team and you can still lose with it. It's FIFA at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I just unfortunately it's, it's come at the time at the time that I've actually been recording the video. So. Yeah, um, but by all means, if you guys want a sick team, honestly, do get this. Uh, I have been quite unlucky, to be fair. He has brought on Obama Yang and scored some really lucky goals from like deflections and rebounds and stuff like that. So, do you know what I mean? It's 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 just one of them ones. It's a little bit 
of a, of a tricky situation. But yeah, I don't take anything. I'm not going to be a sore loser. I Whatever, I deserve to lose, whatever. Um, but, do you know what I mean? I, that doesn't take away the fact that this team is actually really, really, really nice to play with and has a lot of sick players. Um, I just don't want to be dishonest with you guys. I don't want to like go ahead and record another game and then win like 4-0 and be like, oh yeah, this team's flipping amazing. You will never lose of it. I suppose it's just kind of like, the reality kind of side of things. I did lose 4-3. It's not like I lost 4-0 or 5-0. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, maybe my defending needs a little bit of work as well. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, then please just drop a like. Let me know what you think of this team. It did play very, very well. I just feel like I got a little bit unfortunate in the game. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.